Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is my 2024 Audi RS3. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over exactly how much I paid for this car. So let's first start off with a little walk around. So I picked Camaro Gray Metallic, which is an extra cost option. And I do really like this color. It looks a little like, the color in the camera is not exactly what it looks like, just cause like the sun is shining on it weird, but it's like a bluish gray color. I think it looks really good. You can see there. I did not pick the black optics package. That's why the Audi logos are still uh, chrome. I'm not a fan of everything being blacked out. I do like black, like especially this grill looks really nice. But I'm not a fan of everything being like completely blacked out. We got the upgraded headlights and stuff, standard on RS3s. These are the standard wheel and tire options on the RS3. So you can see what these look like. They kind of have like a little machine finish. It's kind of like a split five type design. And then I also got the technology package, which once, once we get inside, I'll show you guys what that entails. But you can see even without the black optics package, you still get the black spoiler on the back. I think that looks nice. It's a nice little contrast. And then you got the uh, Chrome Audi logo and then the Chrome RS3. I did not pick the RS Sport exhaust because I knew that I might possibly upgrade it and I already did. So I did the uh, resonator or excuse me, the secondary CAD delete, which is the Unitronic mid pipes. But these are the standard exhaust outlets. As you guys can tell, I kind of like stuff to be, like I like blacked out too, cause like my M2 is completely blacked out as far as like the shadow line and all that. But I kind of like the chrome as well because then you can actually see it. So it would be cool if they had like a different uh, color wheel option. I picked these ones because at least you can see something with a little machine finish there. You guys can see that. All right guys, we're looking at the interior now. You can see we got the red stitching on the doors. So the RS3 has three interior options. You can get like the, the green stitching and the green highlights, or you can get just a straight black interior, or you can get black with red stitching. And I picked the black with red stitching, as you guys can see there. I like the little contrast of the black. I think these seats are really nice looking. They look really high end and stuff. I'll put up a little photo of the window sticker so you guys can check it out for yourself. But basically the MSRP of this vehicle came out to $66,840. And this is a 2024 model year. All right guys, so this top part here shows the breakdown. If I didn't have a trade-in, I did have a trade-in, so I'll show you guys what that looks like. But here's the cash purchase with no trade. You see the MSRP is 66,840. I didn't pay a markup, so thank goodness on that. Obviously the market's changed a little bit. It's not, like the markups aren't like that common anymore. I guess it depends on what car you pick out, but the markups are kind of not really there anymore. Um, unless you're picking out like a actual like really specialty type vehicle Dock fee in Vegas is 499 or I should say in Nevada is 499 some dealers are higher 499 is somewhat fair because that's the lowest I've seen and I work at a car dealership and that's our dock fee at our car dealership uh, tax is 8.375 percent so that's five thousand six hundred thirty nine dollars so you see you pay a fortune in taxes and then title fee is twenty eight dollars that's not taxed and then the out the door, if I were to write a check for the whole vehicle and I didn't have a trade in, it'd be $73,006. I didn't get any sort of extended service plan or maintenance package or anything like that because I didn't know how long I was going to keep the car. So I didn't see value in those products. $73,006.89 out the door. Or if you did a zero down option, it would be $12.98 a month for 72 months. That's the option they were showing. I think they're, they're factoring it based off of like a 7% or a 7.9 or whatever. I have top tier credit, so I'll get the best rates, but the rates they were quoting are a little bit higher than what I could probably get somewhere else. Uh, but I realize that rates are a little bit higher these days. This is filmed as of July 31st, 2024. But I did have a trade in, so let's go down to the bottom here. Oh, sorry, trying to show you guys here. Okay, so this is the cash purchase with the trade in. So obviously the MSRP there at the top. Trade-in value before the tax savings was 36,000 for the Golf R with 16,000 miles. They initially offered 34,000, but I had a bunch of supporting offers and stuff that are higher, so I got it up to 36,000. The difference between the RS3 and the Golf R was 30,840. Dock fee 499. Tax is 2624 instead of 5639 because of the trade-in. So if you use the tax savings, the effective trade-in value would be $39,015. If we go down to title fee, $20. So the out the door was $33,991.89. 
the Golf R was paid off, so that's why there's no payoff in here. So that's your cash purchase or zero down and 605 a month for 72 months. I uh, told them that I'd finance with them if they gave me a bigger discount. They didn't give me a bigger discount, so I paid the cash option, which was right here. So that hurt, obviously. <laughs> Came out of pocket almost 34 grand to get into this RS3 that I'm not 100% satisfied with, to be honest with you. So 34 grand, the RS3 is paid off. So that's the whole uh, line items right there. Very easy, very simple. All right, guys, let's get cruising now. So if I were to sell the Golf R, I know some of you guys might be like, oh, the Golf R, you only sold it for 36,000. Man, what a ripoff. It was worth way more than that. If I were to sell the Golf R privately, I could maybe get like 40, maybe 41. Um, and it's just not worth the brain damage to me. Um, I don't wanna do the extra, the extra effort of trying to meet up with someone. I work a lot of hours, so I don't have time to be meeting up with people to test drive it. And I don't have time for people to like, be asking if it's still available and then don't say anything. Let's say the asking price, I'm asking, let's say 42,000 or whatever. Will you take 35? Like, I just don't, I don't wanna deal with any of that brain damage. So that's why I just sold it to the dealership, or I should say, that's why I traded it into the dealership. Cause it's just, it's worth it to me to not deal with that. Convenience, it has a cost and it's convenient to trade it into the dealership and not deal with that. So that's why I traded it in. I saved some taxes on the RS3 or you can say I got more money for the trade in, however you wanna say it. Realistically, it's saving taxes on the RS3. So that's the Golf R. It lost value, obviously. I mean, the first year is obviously when you're gonna lose the most value. Um, but honestly, it's not that bad because if I got a $48,000 anything else, like a $48,000, uh, I mean, I work at Ford, like a Ford Explorer, that's $48,000. You try to sell that thing in one year and uh, 16,000 miles will be worth like 30. So the Golf R still had pretty decent uh, trade-in value for what it was. So I'm not terribly upset with that. But we're just cruising here now. Let me know what you guys think. I kind of wish I did the finance option because I do have Navy Federal and they have pretty good finance rates right now. Just so I don't have to put all that capital in the car right now. But, um, you know, it is what it is. At least it's paid off. I just got the title actually yesterday. So, um, but honestly, I'm highly considering selling this car. Um, I'll make a video going over why I'm selling it and also future options stuff like that. So definitely stay tuned. Um, I do want to say this. Uh, I do appreciate everyone that, that watched the RS3 videos and everyone that's been supportive of the RS3. I know I haven't really been the best critic of the RS3, unfortunately, just because it's not, not what I was thinking. It's a great car, you know, no denying that, but just not what I was thinking and not worth it for me at least. But let me know what you guys think of those numbers. Do you think I got a good deal? Do you think I got ripped off? I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Please give this video a like, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.